Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Wild West Gunfighter Fright Fest show. For your safety, we caution that you keep your seat and please keep all walkways free and clear. Due to the graphic nature of this show, we ask that the younger members of the audience be accompanied by an adult and that the weak of heart or stomach please leave. Now! <laughs> After several months of successful mining in the small town of Crack Axis, Canada, Isaac Proctor, lone proprietor of the Silver Tree Mine, had turned several heads of interest, two of which were the town sheriff, P.T. Goodbear, and the owner of the Irish Rose Saloon, Buford H. was born. The sheriff and the barkeep and watch the miners' fortune rise as their pockets grew shallow and light in this already buried ghost town. With few witnesses in the law being on their side, they had concocted a plan to force Isaac to sign over the deed of his mining operation to them. By any means necessary. You're gonna have to pay your tab in full before I serve the likes of you, property. <laughs> We've already paid my tab, Buford. That gold piece I gave you last week. Well, seeing as you're the only scum sucking pig in this town with any money, I guess I'm gonna have to raise my prices just for you. Now fork over some gold before I split your head open with the heel of my shotgun, boy. Buford, this is a robbery. But I'll have you know the sheriff's gonna hear about this. <laughs> Why don't you tell him yourself? He's right outside. I want the hell! Sheriff, are you just gonna let him do this? Shut up till I tell you to talk, bro. Uh, what seems to be the problem, you do? Looks like this little crook don't want to pay his tab. And now you owe me for that window too, money bags. Now uh, what do we have here? A lying little thief. Well, we we'll just have to see if the town charter has to say about skill. It says here that anybody caught stealing shall forfeit any and all property in the town. The as I am sheriff. You are the sheriff? I am. The time. They say you're right, sheriff. You can't do... What to tell you about talking, boy? And it's ain't about what's right or wrong. It's just about money. You got it. I'm going to get it. Now, don't keep that precious little beat on you. So why don't we say we take this office and make this real leader like, shall we? Yes, sir. <coughs> Get off! Get off, Big Buford! Oh, we got a lot for Sheriff! Get stop the bullet, Doctor. I'm gonna be needing that drink. I decided to let my horse not be on my way out of town. You are going nowhere. You just 
just shook the court for the sheriff, so as far as I'm concerned, he decided to run the court. Sheriff, we had a deal. Buford, yeah. Now, Buford, don't do this. Oh, it's strictly business. Help! Somebody help me! Help! Oh, help! <laughs> hey, no hard feelings. Bro. I'm gonna kill you. Before we serve justice here? Yeah, I'll be back, and you can count on that. I'll be back in one year's time to make you bleed. Is that all? One more thing. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have done that, Proctor. No, no, no. since the unjust murder of Isaac Fox. The night of All Hallows' Eve seemed more eerie than ever. The few remaining townspeople had been told that Isaac got drunk that night, one year ago, signed his deed over to the sheriff, and left town to spend his fortune in a more prosperous town. Although few believed the story, no one questioned it. For the sheriff, with his new wealth, had bought himself more power. And now, as a marshal and candidate for the governor's office, he seemed the unstoppable. Buford saved his blood money in the Irish forwards, where he had trapped the most criminal, murderous elements the territory had to offer. The two had not spoken of the night that brought them their wealth but had agreed to celebrate the death of their benefactor with a drink at the stroke of midnight. With the promise of Isaac's return still in their minds, the marshal seemed to be instead. We hung him, remember? Yeah. <laughs> you got that drink lined up for us at the bar? Oh yeah, I got something real special lined up. Alright. Well, I'm gonna lock up here. We should have to roast this thing. You got it. He'll probably sent me. You'll shoot that gun out one more time, and you'll be the one hanging. Is that understood? Yeah, I understood. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, who get that drink? Hell. Yeah. Where are you going, boys? Seems I got a little justice of my own to serve this time, Marshal. I ain't got nothing to do with that. But... <laughs> Come here, 
check him. Hell no! I said check him. <laughs> He's dead, Marshal! Better than he was the first time! Huh? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 